rallies that you are doing today and the many rallies that you are planned across the country. And we are telling you there is no problem with that. What you are only succeeding in doing is to mess up the environment, the political environment of our nation, so that you create instability for purposes of derailing this government. And we want to tell Raila Odinga, if you didn't succeed to derail this government when you were in power, when you had power, to, you, you had a handshake with the, with the former president, how are you going to derail this government in this day and age when you are in the opposition and we have William Ruto in government? I want to tell our friends who are now trying to cause problems in our country. We have seen worse problems than what you are trying. You've done worse for us. If it was for me, you should have decided to leave that brand of politics because it is not giving us any benefit. And we come and sit together. I will not be intimidated or blackmailed, regardless of what they want to do. I'm very clear in my mind that on 6th February next week, I shall be moving an amendment, an amendment of Section 7, Subsection 3, that was exempting former presidents from paying tax in this republic. We are equal before God and man, and everybody must pay tax. It is not negotiable. And I want to ask the president whether these guys sponsor Manda Mano or political rallies. My brother do not be intimidated or blackmailed or coerced by political conmans who are just doing political rallies. We are telling them, Sikuzao, Simeisha. Na wakicheza sana, tutawashitaki kwa mwenyezi mungu.